Now some medical news. A new study showed type 2 diabetes cases among American kids jumped 77% during the first year of the pandemic, likely because of shutdowns, more screen time, and less activity. Other studies are finding a disturbing connection between COVID and an increase in type 2 diabetes cases in adults. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins explains what you need to know. A number of studies around the world are finding what seems to be a suspicious link between COVID infection and diabetes. One study found those who used the VA system for a COVID infection were 40% more likely to develop diabetes up to a year later. But is it from the virus or something else? We have shown an association. We have not shown any causation. We cannot prove right now that this is the cause of diabetes itself. There are a lot of theories. Among them, the COVID cases were already high risk for diabetes. 90% of the 88 million with pre-diabetes don't even know they have it. 25% of the 34 million with diabetes have yet to be diagnosed. And those dealing with long haul symptoms get more frequent medical attention, so it may be easier to find. But could COVID cause it? We know COVID causes inflammation when the body tries to fight it. That can sometimes cause hyperglycemia or high blood sugar in someone not known to have diabetes. Or the high-dose steroids used to treat COVID infections may cause significant insulin increases that the pancreas isn't ready to handle. But none of these theories have been proven. But if you think you could be at risk after a COVID infection, watch for these symptoms. Frequent urination overnight or during the day, increased thirst with blurry vision, unexplained weight loss, numbness in hands or feet, and fatigue, which of course is also associated with a COVID infection. So again, what we know currently, there is no definite proof that COVID causes diabetes. More study is definitely needed. Doctors say though the COVID vaccines and boosters can certainly help, but based on data from those who have pre-diabetes, losing just 15 pounds can slow the progression of type two and of course, improving our diet as well, which is something we can all do. We've been talking about this for two years now, but every single day we learn something new about COVID, the vaccine or something related to and it. And there's still so much we just don't know. Wow, that's true. Okay, Monica Robbins, thank you. Sure.